Yo, whoa, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Dan, aka Drive. I'm bringing you guys a brand new video today, and today I'm gonna show you how to get all of the starter Pokemon in Pokemon Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl. Yes, you can get everything from Pikachu to Eevee to Turtwig, Piplup, and Chimchar, and even some of the other generation starters like Squirtle and Trico, and many, many more by simply using the underground mechanics and beyond. So I'm going to break it all down for you guys. If you guys enjoy this video, be sure to hit that like button down below and make sure you guys subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. And if you really love the starters, you can pick up a t-shirt over at teamshiny.com. Use code SHINY to get 15% off if you pick up three shirts or more. We've got a bunch of the great starter designs there, so check them out over there. Without further ado, let's jump into how to find those starter Pokemon in Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. So the first one we're going to take a look at is Pikachu. Now Pikachu is found south of Hard Home City and it can be found in the Trophy Garden which is actually located behind the Pokemon Mansion. You'll find a handful of different Pokemon here, one of which is Pichu and of course Pikachu. It took me quite a while to find the Pikachu ultimately, so what I ended up doing is catching a Pichu which has Static or Lightning Rod as its ability which increases the spawn rate of Electric type Pokemon and then the Pikachu popped up right away thereafter. But with a little bit of luck you should have no problems finding a Pikachu here. But again, if you run into an issue, you can always just do what I did, catch a Pichu or another Pokemon with Static or Lightning Rod, simply put them in the front of your party, and it'll attract those other Electric-type Pokemon and make Pikachu spawn a little bit more frequently. Once you've beaten the game, you get access to the National Dex, which is given to you by the Professor after completing the entire regular Sinnoh Pokedex of 150 Pokemon. Once you have the National Dex, you can head over to Hard Home City, and in the house next to the Pokemart, or the Pokemon Center rather, you can actually talk to Bebe, who is the PC expert. She'll talk to you and say, oh, I see that you've gotten your National Dex, and she'll actually give you access to Eevee, the evolution Pokemon. Now from here, you can obviously evolve Eevee into all the different evolutions with the exception of Sylveon, but you will be able to get Glaceon and Eevee, uh, Glaceon and... <laughs> and Leafeon and pretty much all of them right Umbreon, Espeon, etc but again no Sylveon so don't get too excited if you're into the fairy types but that's how you get your Eevee is from Bebe and of course you could always breed the Eevee if you wanted to get more so that's never an issue again once you have the national decks the underground and the explorer kit opens up to a whole new variety of Pokemon and the rest of the starter Pokemon that we're going to talk about are only available in the National Dex. So my recommendation is once you've beaten the game, you get the National Dex, you can then go to the Underground and ultimately obtain all of these different Pokemon. First, we're going to take a look at the Lava Biome, which is the biomes that are covered in fire. They're pretty easy to identify in the Underground, and this is where we're going to find the four Fire-type starter Pokemon. The first one I found happened to be Cyndaquil, and I'll tell you guys, Cyndaquil doesn't have any special egg moves, so there's nothing really to look out for there. But of course, if you use my underground guide, you can try to shiny hunt these Pokemon, but really it comes down to just exiting the room and entering the room. I recommend having a Pokemon with Smoke Ball or a Pokemon with the ability Runaway, so you can kind of engage and disengage with these Pokemon very easily, because the way the hitboxes work in this game, you're going to bump into the walls and run into Pokemon the entire time, and it gets a little bit frustrating. I'll tell you that this part of the video took me about two hours to film to give you an idea on how long it took me to find each of the starters of each of their rep representative types. So again, you can find Cyndaquil here in this lava biome. After continuously resetting, I was able to find Charmander pretty quickly. Charmander has a handful of different egg moves that are actually advantageous, from Ancient Power to Belly Drum to Outrage, potentially Dragon Dance, and maybe even Air Cutter, but I think you would probably run Air Slash anyway. So some really cool egg moves to look out for if you're looking to breed a competitive Charmander or Charizard. There's some egg moves that you can search for here in the underground with Charmander. The next one I found was actually Chimchar, and obviously this is one of the starters. Chimchar has a ton of really cool egg moves from Fire Punch to Thunder Punch to Encore. Fake Out is a really big one. Uh, I guess you could potentially run something like Heat Wave, but I think honestly Fake Out and Thunder Punch are probably the main ones that you'd want to get. So those are some egg moves to look out for Chimchar. I found him relatively quickly as well, but of course the final Fire type starter was the one that took the absolute longest. This is one of the hardest things for me to find, and I think it was just by chance. But I did ultimately find Torchic, of course, the pre-evolution of Blaziken. Now, Torchic has a cool set of egg moves as well. The real one you'd want to look for probably would be Night Slash. But generally speaking, a competitive Blaziken with Speed Boost is not going to be running these moves anyway. So I wouldn't worry too much about the egg moves for Torchic. From there, I moved to a Water Biome. And there's a few of them that should be pretty easy to identify. But you're looking for just basically the full water on the picture. One of the nice things about the starters in the water biome is they'll spawn on land. If you notice, there's actually some water in the cave as well, where things like Quillfish and Tentacruel will spawn, but these will spawn generally towards the middle of the cave, so they're a little easier to identify. The water biome spawns are much more robust than the lava biome spawns, so it might take a little bit longer to find these particular starter Pokemon that you're looking for. 
The first one that I was able to find was Totodile, and Totodile has a specific set of egg moves that you definitely want to try to get, which is Dragon Dance and Aqua Jet. Those two moves are incredibly powerful. Ice Punch is another one, but Dragon Dance and Aqua Jet allow Totodile and Feraligator to be incredibly powerful and competitive, and they function as one of the two main sets that they run, either Swords Dance, Aqua Jet, or Dragon Dance, more offensive with things like Waterfall or Liquidation. So highly recommend you look into those different egg moves. From there, I was able to find Piplup, the Generation 4 starter. Piplup doesn't really have a ton of egg moves that are really worth kind of mentioning. There is a world where you run like a Defiant Agility set, which is kind of cool, and I guess you could potentially pick up Yawn for a more defensive set but generally speaking its egg moves aren't nearly as important as some of the other pokemon that we're talking about here today but piplup it was probably the most common one for me to find but again i do think it is just entirely random as you kind of exit and re-enter the cave to reset the spawns every single time from there i found squirtle the generation one turtle and squirtle's got a handful of different egg moves that i would look into water spout being one of the primary ones Aura Sphere as well, Fake Out, Yawn, Mirror Coat. Some of these moves are actually really, really good on Blastoise and competitive, especially if you're running like an offensive set. So I definitely look to get some of those egg moves and secure those, especially since Pokemon Home Transfer ability is not available yet. So a lot of these moves are going to have to be rebred for people. So I definitely would look towards that. And then this Water Biome, it took me like 30 minutes from here to ultimately find Mudkip. And Mudkip was brutal to find. I'm not even going to lie. Obviously, it's just the luck of the draw, but Mudkip does have a handful of different egg moves that might be useful. Wide Guard and Double Battles, Curse and Counter as well. You could argue Yawn has some viability, maybe even Mirror Coat. But ultimately, it's mostly going to run like Stealth Rocks, Earthquake, or Earth Power Scald, some set like that. So probably don't need too many of these egg moves. But man, oh man, I'll tell you what, Mudkip was very, very challenging for me to find. And last but not least, the final four grass starter Pokemon can be found in the grass biome, which is very obviously labeled as like the big green grass patch that you can find. And this is where I was able to find a handful of the different starters. The first one for me happened to be Bulbasaur, the generation one starter. Bulbasaur doesn't have any egg moves that are necessarily super important outside of maybe Leaf Storm. You're not really going to want to run Power Whip as like a physical set, so I wouldn't look towards any of those egg moves as being super important, but ultimately Venusaur, super awesome Pokemon, and you're able to grab the Bulbasaur through the uh, grass biome underground. From there, Chikorita decided to troll me and spawn like four or five times in a row without me finding any other starters. So I found so many Chikoritas in a row, but I was able to find Chikorita and there's some really cool egg moves for it. Leech Seed primarily being the main one. Heal Pulse for double battles. You could argue like Ancient Power and Leaf Storm, but I wouldn't worry too much about those. Leech Seed is the big one you want to be looking for, for the baby Meganium from the Generation 2. Then I was able to find the Generation 4 Turtwig, which I'm repping today, of course. And Turtwig was rocking uh, a beautiful little sprite here in the underground. You can give him a handful of different moves. Seed Bomb maybe is the one you're looking at. Uh, I, I think that you probably want to run Wood Hammer. It does learn Super Power as well as a potential egg move, so keep an eye out for that. But we were able to find that Turtwig, and I was really jazzed up about it. And much like Mudkip, the final grass starter was Trico, and it took me a really long time to find Trico, but I was able to secure it finally, and you can see that it's got a couple different cool egg moves like Leech Seed, uh, that's the one I would potentially look at if you wanted to run a substitute Leech Seed set. Generally speaking, it's other moves, you could potentially run like a Night Slash or Double Kick, but it's usually got better moves like Earthquake if you're going to run the Swords Dance set, so I wouldn't stress too much about those egg moves for Trico. And that's exactly how you get all of the starter Pokemon in Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Most of them are national decks once you've received the national decks, with the exception of Pikachu, but you are able to grab all of them from all Gen 1 to Gen 4 starters, plus Eevee and Pikachu in Pokemon Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl through the underground. So good luck. Again, be patient. It took me about two hours to find all of them uh, from start to finish, kind of going in and out of the rooms in the underground to reset the rooms and ultimately find those starters. So again, with a little bit more luck, you could probably do it in like an hour. I had some bad luck and maybe with some worse luck and maybe take you three hours or so just as an FYI, but you'll find plenty of cool Pokemon along the way by doing that. So you can fill out your Pokedex. Be sure to like the video if you guys enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Dan. I also go by Adrive and I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.